we have our separator grate here. We got for wheat and barley. You got to put it, move the handle. Can you see it good? Move this handle, flip the lever or whatever, pull it over, slide it over to this one. We have it set for canola, but slip that. And then your this lever back here for your speed, rotary separator speed. You can flip it back over here to loosen it off, and then you gotta slip this belt to the back side of here, and this belt to that one right there, and then you can push it back or whatever, push your lever back, lock it back in. So canola back, open, and uh, for wheat, closed or whatever, your separator grate. And we got here inside fast, outside slow for canola. Okay, and then you're, you need to put these plates in for wheat. See how they're all aggressive? And then you just pull this pin there, and then there's a pin on the back side. Left and right, make sure they're the right way. And it's lower at the bottom, but pull them out. our settings for wheat and uh, two so go to that icon select your wheat and then you can put it as mode one mode two whatever you want mode one I have it so but make sure your e ECS your automatic crop setting type is user and then you can just use the plus or minuses to change these Minus, minus. But when you're done them, go to confirm, and that'll save them. Otherwise, if you just exit out, it'll just whatever take them away. And then canola mode one. Same thing, plus or minus, whichever way you got to go your users just default or whatever whatever you want to do there as long as you have it set to and then to oops, see value not stored because it just exited out so if you want to go see I just changed this to wheat so now my as soon as my combine fires up oops, go back there oops, it'll automatically adjust all of them to that to the settings right five eighths is our concave we sometimes run it a little little opener depending on crop conditions but so see I got the settings there so as soon as I fire the combine up kick the threshing clutch in or whatever it'll uh, adjust to that same thing if I go back here Oops. go down to canola One, all them settings, C720, 530, so go to your, change to your different field, so if you want to go over here, make a new field, hit OK, OK, new load, yeah, OK, and then select canola, and go to your sing. See, that'll show everything on the side here. Speeds, but it's all adjusted or whatever. It'll, it'll readjust itself once you set the thresher. It'll adjust it all to that settings on that side. So this is that wrench I was talking about you need. Take it off and... Here. 
here's your plates. And then behind it, you see them two, two nut looking things there? You just gotta lock them up. Use that little wrench or a crescent wrench and lock them up. And then it'll hold these plates up. And you should have them up for wheat and down for canola. So our pre-sieve, we have it just about all the way open. You can see that it's kind of one click from, from all the way open. And then concaves, so well, they adjust there, but uh, we just take a bolt, 11 16 bolt, and shove it in there to make you know make sure it's that open. And then your bottom sieve is same thing. If you can get at it, it's hard to get at, but you can see it down there. It's about 3 16 we adjusted them. And uh, yeah, we run our. Make sure your chopper knives are good and sharp. These are they're getting wore out, but I had to flip them. But we we don't run our bar in. It's all the way out, retracted, right? Otherwise, you just I don't know. It smashes it up good enough, anyways, as as it is. So 